If you haven't seen the first mock machine video in the top right corner, I would suggest watching that one first before watching this video. In that video, I was listing possible reasons why all four fins blew off. I talked about the possibility of it happening because of air resistance and acceleration, but I never tested it. Will we finally figure out why this happened? And what can we do about it? Let's get started. First, I went into Open Rocket to see how much drag force is put on the rocket. Open Rocket can tell you how much drag force is put on the rocket at a certain velocity, which is shown on this graph. You can see here that the drag force is at 82 newtons at its peak. Then, I created a duplicate of this file and made the fins have no drag. This design is exactly the same, except for the fins, which have the same mass, but no thickness, which makes them have no drag. We can find the drag force of this rocket, then subtract it from the drag force of the original rocket to see how much drag is caused by the fins. Here, you can see the drag is around 44.5 newtons at the same velocity of the design with the fins, which is around 897 miles per hour. So 82 minus 44.5 is 35.5, which means around 35.5 newtons of drag is caused by the fins at max velocity. Next, I figured out how much stress is put on the fin joints by the 56 g's of acceleration. I just multiplied the mass of the fins by 56. All four fins together are 16 grams, and 16 times 56 is 896, so another 896 gram force is applied on the fins, which is around 8.8 .8 newtons. 35.5 plus 8.8 .8 is 44.3, so a total of about 44.3 newtons is put on the fins. The rocket wasn't actually pulling 56 g's at max velocity, only about 25 according to the sim, but open rocket doesn't account for the increased drag at supersonic speeds, so I used 56 g's, the maximum g load, just to be safe. I decided to test if the rocket can handle this by hanging a weight on the fins. 44.3 newtons is very close to 10 pound force, so we needed a 10 pound weight, but I decided to simulate the stress on only two fins, so we needed a 5 pound weight. I 3D printed these hooks that had the same length and thickness of the mock machine fins, and glued them to a body tube with wood glue, which is what we used originally. I tied the strings to the hooks so I can hang a weight from them. First though, I wanted to see if the fins could handle the velocity at which they broke off in the flight. According to the sim, the rocket was going 400 miles per hour and pulling 52 g's when the fins broke off. Using the same math from earlier, this means there was about 3 pounds of force on two fins. I found two clamps that together add up to just over 3 pounds. I tied them to the hooks, then hung the body tube from a vise. The hooks were able to handle the weight, which means the fins did not break off because of the drag and acceleration forces. It was probably caused by the motor pushing upwards on the fins, as explained in the last video, or a combination of that and the downward forces, which would explain why two of the fins were broken. The motor was pushing upwards on the fins, and the drag and acceleration pushed down, which snapped the fins. The adhesive also provided probably most of the resistance to the upward force, not just the drag and acceleration. This can be easily fixed. All we need to do is move the fins upwards just enough so that we don't risk any contact with the motor, then add a bit of nose weight to keep the stability margin safe. I wasn't done yet though. We still didn't know if the fins would be able to handle maximum forces. This would mean a 5 pound weight as explained earlier. I found some more clamps that added up to around 5 pounds and tied them to the hooks. Unfortunately, the hooks cannot handle this, which also means I have no video since I can't video and set up at the same time. What happened though was the weights pulled down the vise from the table and pulled the hooks off. The vise then fell on my hand which sliced my finger open. I wasn't sure of the order things happened though. Were the hooks pulled off before the vise fell which would mean the fins couldn't handle the weight? Or did the whole thing fall which put extra forces on the hooks and pulled them off? I decided to test again, this time with me holding the body tube and with only one hook instead of two. The reason I didn't do the single hook test before was because it would cause the rocket to be unbalanced in weight which would tilt it and cause the weight to pull off the hook laterally instead of vertically as shown here. I re-glued the hook then hung the clamps from it again. This time, it was able to hold up. This is probably cutting it close though, and my compensation for the open rocket supersonic flight error could have been way off. Because of this, I tied a 7 pound weight, the vise itself, to the hook. The vise was able to hang for a few seconds, but broke off right before I was able to take any pictures. At this point, I already knew the fins breaking off wasn't caused by the fins not being attached well enough, and was most likely caused by the motor pushing upwards on them. This could be easily fixed by just moving the fins upwards. I still wanted to find a better adhesive though. I glued a new hook to the body, this time with super glue, and tied the 2.5 pound weight to it. It was able to hold, then I tried the 5 pound weight and the 7 pound weight and it was still able to hold. And remember, this is only with one hook, so the 7 pound weight is like a 14 pound weight if there were two hooks, almost 3 times the original 5 pound weight. I then tried a 9.5 pound weight, and the hook didn't exactly break off, but just got torn apart. It was clear now that super glue is a much better adhesive for the fins than wood glue. This is the new design. The fins were moved up by around 2.5mm and, and 3 grams of nose weight were added to keep the stability safe. And of course, the fins are attached with super glue instead of wood glue. Unfortunately, the next launch won't be until November or December because of the fire danger with dry grass. This isn't our only project though. Remember TVC? 
An update is finally coming soon. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to not miss the update. See you then.